Every light has its shadow, and every shadow hath a succeeding morning. For I am not so enamored of my own opinions that I disregard what others may think of them. The universe, wrought for us by a supremely good and orderly creator. Finally we shall place the sun himself at the center of the universe. Nations are not ruined by one act of violence, but gradually and in an almost imperceptible manner by the depreciation of their circulating currency, through its excessive quantity. Of all things visible, the highest is the heaven of the fixed stars. Those things which I am saying now may be obscure, yet they will be made clearer in their proper place. For what could be more beautiful than the heavens which contain all beautiful things? I am aware that a philosopher's ideas are not subject to the judgment of ordinary persons, because it is his endeavor to seek the truth in all things, to the extent permitted to human reason by God. At rest, however, in the middle of everything is the sun. Mathematics is written for mathematicians. There may be babblers, wholly ignorant of mathematics, who dare to condemn my hypothesis, upon the authority of some part of the Bible twisted to suit their purpose, I value them not, and scorn their unfounded judgment. The massive bulk of the earth does indeed shrink to insignificance in comparison with the size of the heavens. Finally we shall place the sun himself at the center of the universe. All this is suggested by the system of procession of events and the harmony of the whole universe, if only we face the facts, as they say, with eyes wide open. First of all, we must note that the universe is spherical. Moreover, since the sun remains stationary, whatever appears as a motion of the sun is really due rather to the motion of the earth. Therefore, when I consider this carefully, the contempt which I had to fear because of the novelty and apparent absurdity of my view, nearly induced me to abandon utterly the work I had begun. I shall now recall to mind that the motion of the heavenly bodies is circular, since the motion appropriate to a sphere is rotation in a circle. In so many and such important ways, then, do the planets bear witness to the Earth's mobility. Therefore, when I consider this carefully, the contempt which I had to fear because of the novelty and apparent absurdity of my view, nearly induced me to abandon utterly the work I had begun.